My name is George O'Connor, and you're watching Sport and Icons. And the new WBC, IBF and Ring Magazine Super Lightweight Women's Champion of the World, Chantelle Cameron. Now we're going to talk about her fight with Mary McGee in a second. Now I'm sure that the town of Cobblers, Northampton, will be absolutely buzzing, jumping up and down from the rafters, from Western Fable to Abington Park to Sidewell Country Park, Wicksteed Park, Arbors, you name it, Lings, whatever. They're all going to be bouncing up and down for Chantelle Cameron. Hopefully, Eddie Hearn, Matchroom, the zone MTK Global will make her a headliner somewhere in Northampton soon enough, along with uh, the likes of Kieran Conway and co. Now, her performance tonight, for me, I thought that she beat Mary McGee nine rounds to one, maybe eight rounds to two. And I'm being a little bit generous with this one because um, I was trying to give um, Mary McGee um, the benefit of the doubt and try not to be too biased. Because for me, I like Chantel Cameron. She's one of my favourite fighters. Not just women's fighters, but fighters in general. I like how she fights with her fist of fury, just throws punches and bunches. Then she's on the back foot. She's been very, very smart. Her footwork, and she likes a trade-up. Okay, and very, very selective punching and that at times. Very, very skillful, ring-savvy girl. Fantastic. Um, I really, really love Chantel Cameron. Now, this fight was... As much as the scorecards from the judges, from myself, and I'm sure many of you would have been very one-sided to Chantel Cameron, even if you didn't have it as wide as what I did and the judges did, maybe had it a little bit closer, we can all agree Chantel Cameron won this fight. But it's not to say Mary McGee was not in this fight. She was in this fight. She was landing some pretty good shots herself. And in round number seven, or at the end of round number seven, I had a little bit of heart in the mouth moment because it looked like Chantel Cameron was starting to fatigue a little bit. I thought, uh-oh. This ain't good as though she just punched herself out here. But my fears were settled in round number eight when she came out of the blocks. So that was great. Now, for me, I thought that Chantel Cameron started very fast. She was having fun, sticking her tongue out, smiling at Mary McGee quite a lot, which seemed to upset Mary McGee a little bit to the point where she just wanted to trade up with her. And Chantel Cameron was very willing to oblige. She really was. She was quite happily to push Mary McGee onto the back foot and just start unloading on her on the ropes. Literally throwing punches in bunches. Must have thrown about, I don't know, several combinations in a very, very short period of time. And some of them were landing clean. And at times I thought maybe Mary McGee was about to go, you know what, I've had enough, I'm out of it. But she didn't. And she showed great heart of a champion. So she kept on going through. Mary McGee did land some pretty good shots, that's for sure. Um, and you can see at the very end of the fight, there seemed to be like a bit of blood on the shoulder of um, Chantel Cameron. I don't know whether that was Mary McGee's blood or her own. Um, her forehead was a little bit redded up. So she was eating some pretty good shots herself. But overall, as far as each round was concerned, for me, very, very dominant performance by Chantel Cameron. I thought that uh, she'd done absolutely fantastic. For me, I mean, I didn't know too much about Mary McGee, but I was hearing that she's a very, very good fight. So I expected it to be quite a close fight. But I'm going to favour Chantel Cameron anyway. For me, when... I think about women's boxing, not that I'm an expert on women's boxing at all, but for me, I think that she should be mentioned into the pound for pound list when it comes to considerations for the top pound for pound women's fighters. Again, my opinion. But either way, congratulations to Chantel Cameron. Very, very dominant performance. Um, her coaches with like a Nigel Travis and Jamie Moore and that did a fantastic job of her instilling a lot of confidence in her as well. And she's performing. She was given the headline shot. A lot of people will wilt under that kind of pressure. The eyes, the ears, the world of boxing watching you. But she seemed to love it. Will she become undisputed? I believe she will. I really do believe it. So congratulations to her. Fantastic performance. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next video.